Welcome back to another Classic Car Studio build video. Today we're featuring Jeff's 1968 Chevy Chevelle. Jeff's owned his car for years. He's hot rodded it and had fun with it. Now he's trying to soup it up and he ran into a project that might be a little bit more than he can swallow. So he's brought it to us in this condition and because of the sentimental value we're going to go ahead and save this VIN. We replace most of the sheet metal and here we're going to put it on an Art Morrison chassis powered by a supercharged LSA. We're going to start with the rear section on this one. It gives us access to the wheel tubs that we're going to make sure to widen because we're going to throw some big wheels on here to handle all that power. Moving on to the cowl, we'll have to cut all the spot welds on the existing panels because of all of the rust. We'll need to replace all of these at the factory seams. Drilling out all the spot welds is the only way to go about it. While the top cowl panel is out of place, we go ahead and clean out all the rust and make sure to black out the panels and seal for corrosion protection as well as it's just not that easy to get there whenever everything's assembled. to the center section floor. We're removing this as one piece and replacing it as one piece just to make sure that it's a lot more solid of a repair. Once the floors are welded in place, we're able to remove the rockers, clean off all the corrosion, seal up the insides, make sure everything's primed. And to prep the rocker as it goes on, we go ahead and drill new holes to plug weld the new rockers onto the existing floors. Now that the outer wheel tubs are welded in place, now we have to make room to go inward. The inner wheel tubs will make room for the big tires. We like to use weld through primer to make sure that every metal surface is sealed prior to welding to make sure that we're keeping that corrosion protection in place. And this car was so bad even the package tray needed to be replaced.
Jeff wanted to go with spoon style door handles from Kindiga Design. Now, his doors were already welded up and shaved clean, so we had to go ahead and get back in the doors, open them up, locate the inner door mechanism, and line everything up with the new Kindiga door handles before welding them in place. Jeff supplied us with an over-the-counter trans tunnel, but to raise the drive shaft, we had to make our own panels and cut the floor and make everything fit. metal work is done on the main section. The body is fit back to the chassis and now we'll take on the smaller tasks of things like fitting and tucking the bumper. Just to make sure that clean look is carried through the front and rear. Typically the ends of the bumpers are cut and then uh, about two or sometimes three inches are sectioned out of the middle. The ends are brought in and welded back in place to make sure that everything's flush down the side of the car. And sometimes the quarter panels need reworking as well to fit the side of the, uh, the shape of the bumper. bottom is prepped and everything we move on to the firewall we'll go ahead and smooth that out and body work and prime that before we bedline the bottom Prior to the undercoating, Dan sprays an epoxy primer to make sure that everything sticks. The bed liner coating we like to spray on the bottom of the car makes the cars drivable. It's protection for the bottom of the car. It's also great for sound deadening. Our preferred undercoating is the SEM Premium Protex truck bed liner. Super thick, durable, corrosion protection, sound deadening, has it all. Last thing to do before putting the main body back on the chassis is to go ahead and color and clear the firewall and main cowl sections. It's just a whole lot easier to reach when it's on the rotisserie and everything's already masked up for the undercoating. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more build videos like this, help us out by liking 
commenting and subscribing to our channel. And it's a little thing to do, but don't forget to turn on those notifications. If you want to buy merch, go to store.classiccarstudio.com. See you next time.